Two years feels like a long time. But sometimes it doesn't. Every day since the fire, I feel like fire just surrounds my life. There was foreshadowing. Somebody started fireworks open at noon and there's a fire now. I still can't believe we saw that fire yesterday. Why does fire keep following me? This is actually the end. Oh man. This is unbelievable. Look, my room is still on fire. It feels like a movie. Fire at the Prima Motel and Pub in Phoenixville. This is another part of my childhood. One year later, this is what it looks like. Oh my god, not this again. So what if it's like a weird dude trying to put something on fire or something? Not only did we see a fire in Wildwood, the fact that ash would burn down, and then a place that my aunt lived in burned down. It's just, my life is a TV show or a movie or a very bad movie. Okay, so now that the overdramatic intro is out of the way, it's been two years. A lot has changed since the fire. Um, we live in a house in West Virginia. Let's see, I still haven't gotten a haircut. I still have my braces on. I still don't have a girlfriend. I still haven't hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I still don't have a life. <sighs> is that it? But the one thing I still don't have is my old life. I can never get it back. It's tough to say when my old life ended. March 12th was my last day of high school, so that was the end of an era. And then with the pandemic, there was another end of an era where things were normal. And then, when Ashwood burned down, that was another end of an era of my lifetime. It gets to a point where so many drastic changes just makes your old life feel so distant, so nostalgic, so dreamlike that it just doesn't feel real. And you know, it's been two years, this stuff just keeps we're playing in my head over and over again, and that's why I show it to you guys over and over, so you get the idea of what it's like for me, because I actually lived through this. And some of my viewers may be from Ashwood too. It's just crazy to think that there was foreshadowing, and then there was another fire that had a connection to my life after the fire. And then a week ago, we thought there was a fire in the abandoned house, and we had to call the fire department, which, which was nuts. Alright, so, let's take a look at what Ashwood looks like now. Now, unfortunately, we're eight hours away from Ashwood, and as much as I would like for us to be able to just teleport there, we can't. So, the only way to look at what it looks like now is to actually look at the photos that is posted on Google. So, you actually can see part of the update on the, on the rebuild from Google Earth, from Aerial View, I guess. Um, but apparently, it's called Park View on Worth now, and it actually has some pictures uploaded. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous to actually look at this. <laughs> okay, um, let's just look at all. Um, this is the first picture. Wow. All right. So wow. So this was uploaded in May of 2022. Which, um, by the way, another reason why I didn't want us to go to Ashwood this year is because, well. The next time we go there, I want it to be complete. I want people to actually be living there. Because how many times have we gone there to, to see the update? Now guys, if you live in Pennsylvania and you know if they are finished or not, you can let me know in the comments. But I, we, but we don't really have the time and money to actually go all the way to Ashwood this year. I think it would just be more interesting if the next time we see Ashwood for a video is if you know they're actually done um, to see the final product. But yeah, it looks like they uh, they painted some of the building. Um, because this is May, I, I, I doubt that they're actually completely done and they have people living there and stuff like that. Like they, they probably There's probably so much more work to be done um, when it comes to building an apartment complex. Especially if they're building it using the same walls. Like that, look at this. Like that's actually nuts that they're using the same bricks from Ashwood. Imagine you move into this place, you know, it's, it's the best apartment around, 
um, you don't know the history of the building, and then you're told, oh, this building actually burned down <laughs> two years ago, uh, and we actually used the same brick walls. So, have a nice day, enjoy your residency. Like, okay, I get it, it would cost a lot more money to tear down the entire building and just start from scratch. In my opinion, I wouldn't use the same brick walls. Like, that's also just bad sentiment to, to use the same walls from a building that burned down, like, ugh. But I don't know, maybe they, they know what they're doing. Maybe it'll be secure and stuff, but my point is it's just a little creepy in the sense that if I were to move in a building and I knew it burnt down almost completely and they used the same brick walls, I would just feel a little creeped out, honestly. Um, so that's my point. So let's look at the other pictures. Um, I can't... Okay, so this is just a render of it. It's not an actual picture, and I doubt it's gonna look that modern. <laughs> yeah, this this layout looks very similar to how our apartment looked like, but switched. Yeah, this would have been this would have been my room right here. It looks like there's two closets in this one bedroom. That's weird. Unless there's a door. I don't know what this square is. Wait, what's this? Is there a third bedroom there? Look, see? You see that right there? There's a, there's a square there. No! Don't tell me that's an entrance to the porch. Don't you freaking dare tell me that. That is the one thing I wish Ashwood had, and I honestly don't know why it didn't have a port. I honestly don't know why they didn't have porches in Ashwood because it's not, I don't feel like it's that hard to add porches. I mean, isn't, isn't that somewhat safer? There was literally a guy that was crawling out the window while the door, the while the building was burning, and he and they had to use a ladder to get him out. Wouldn't it have been a little safer if he was able to just go out on the porch, close the door, and just wait for the ladder? Like, I mean, I don't know, I don't know much about that, but like, I feel like it would have been cool to have a porch. Oh boy, coming soon, summer 2022. Now, what I just said was, I, I doubt that they're actually done. That's actually nuts. It looks like Ashwood, but it isn't Ashwood, and it's actually not called Ashwood. It's called Parkview on Worth. Also, this picture right here looks eerily similar to my thumbnail of the video where we saw Ashwood in October. Um, that's just nuts. So that's what it looks like. Um, jeez. So in this picture, it looks like they're half finished on painting the walls. What happened to, wait, what happened to this fence? It's like all bent. It was not like that before. I don't know what to think about this, honestly, because I'm not even seeing this in person. Like all the other times we saw Ashwood, it was me with my dad in person. And now I'm sitting on a chair eight hours away looking at it. And it's just so weird. Honestly, it's so weird. Oh God, it's so, it's just so weird. And then unfortunately, Google Street View hasn't updated. Um, so you still see Ashwood before it burned down on Google Street View. Imagine going from this, and then they update it in 2022, and it's just a whole completely different building. Like that's just, that would be a, a very weird transition to see on just Google Maps. Yeah, is there any more pictures? I don't think there is, no, that's it. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, I'm not sure if any of you knew that these pictures were available on, on Google Maps. Like a while ago I looked at Ashwood on Google Maps and I saw there was a few pictures and I, like, I took a glance but I didn't look at it because I felt like, okay, maybe I should just save this for a different video. But yeah, I guess that's uh, that's it. Um, that's Ashwood, that's what it looks like. I, like guys, the reason why I even edited that intro is to portray how it is in my mind. Like when I was editing that I was just editing what I see in my brain. It was just artistic flow coming through. Like the beginning of this video was not to make it look awesome, not to make it look epic, just to make it look so crazy and intense and dramatic, which is accurate, but not epic. It was not epic at all. It was a big tragedy and it affected a lot of other people. Um, for me, I'm just trying to document my own story, you know, our own lives. I didn't even really know everyone from Ashwood, honestly. We were friends with a few neighbors, um, and you know, honestly, I really miss Ashwood for that reason because, you know, we had so many neighbors that we knew and talked to. We also had a lot of problems with neighbors in the past, but I didn't know everyone, so I, I don't know what it's like for everyone else that was affected by this fire. Like, there were so many apartments, there were so many families that were displaced from this. Now, one thing I do hate is, um, Apparently last year there was a one-year anniversary um, picnic for Ashwood on August 17th, I believe. We were not told about it. We were still in Pennsylvania on August 11th, okay? And actually it would have saved us thousands of dollars 
if we were told. Because if you're if you're new, if you haven't watched everything, if you haven't kept up, um, obviously we bought a house, we live in West Virginia, and we moved last August. It was the closing day, okay? The closing day was supposed to be the 16th, I believe, and then it, or it was the 12th, and it kept getting moved and moved and moved, which meant we, we were which meant we were homeless and living in a hotel for two weeks, which cost us so many thousands of dollars. On top of the fact that my dad had to keep riding the truck with all our stuff in, the fact that we weren't told about this picnic actually peeves me because we're a part of this fire too. And, and you know, if we stayed in Pennsylvania, if we were told this, okay, we could have stayed an extra couple days just to go to that picnic and it would have saved us money because we wouldn't have had to come down here too early and that's what happened apparently the closing day kept getting moved and moved and moved and moved and we we had all our stuff here we were eight hours away from pennsylvania on top of the rental truck for two weeks straight that was so much money and it would have saved us a lot of money if we were just told that this picnic was going on like i would have loved to go and it's probably a two year anniversary in August and we won't be able to go because it's like at this point it's just too hard for us to go, especially with gas prices. I'm honestly derailing, um, sorry about that. But you know, we just can't go to Ashwood this year. Um, we were thinking of going to Wildwood. The thing with that is, Wildwood is two hours away from Ashwood and Wildwood is eight and a half hours away from us. So that would be like, so much driving that would be so much gas money and it would just cost us a thousand dollars to go to Ashwood alone like all the gas money to go to Ashwood to rent a hotel room and then drive all the way back that would be so much money it would be a waste unless the video got a million views and I gained and I got two thousand dollars from the video which is almost impossible because I can't even reach a hundred thousand views on a video yet so yeah um our story with Ashwood is pretty much over um, until we see it next year. But one thing I want to let you guys know is for those of you who may be tired of seeing this and hearing about it, just know that for me and maybe many of the other residents, it's hard to just ignore. It's hard to forget. It's probably like it's probably hard for an outsider to watch my videos and be like, "Why do you keep uploading these videos about Ashwood?" But I'm trying to portray my story in the way that it's in my brain because it just doesn't go away. Like it doesn't feel like it was two years ago. It feels like it was just a couple months ago. When you're 12 and you're, you're becoming a teenager, your brain is developing a lot and it's processing a lot. So the fact that, you know, Ashwood was, was kind of a part of my childhood and then that just psh, burned up and everything I knew just disappeared. And not only that, but I'm also at high school, so that's a whole different thing, you know, because I feel a lot of nostalgia for being in elementary school and middle school and high school and those old days. And now we're eight hours away from everything I know, so it's, it's really hard to just forget, to just ignore. For you guys that didn't actually live in Ashwood that had to deal with this fire and were homeless and had to find a new home and lose all your stuff, it's impossible for you to actually understand unless you experience something like this in your lifetime, which I'm sorry to hear, which I hope none of you did. But enough with me rambling. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe so that I can get a haircut because at 10,000 subscribers, I will get a haircut. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.